Does it take you forever and a day to design anything in Silhouette Studio? Guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. Hey boss, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and I help aspiring and struggling planner shop owners launch shops that not only get seen, but also make money because that is important. Today I am sharing my favorite Silhouette Studio hacks so you can work smarter and also complete your designing process in half the time. Before we dive into the meat of this video, I did want to let you know that my new program, The Silhouette Files, is officially open and accepting new students. So The Silhouette Files teaches you everything you need to know to make planner stickers within Silhouette. I walk you through everything from a walkthrough of the program and what tools do to how to create ombre heart checklists, scene boxes for your weekly and monthly kits, where to find the best clip art, fonts, ombre boxes, and more. So if you're a new shop owner, sick and tired, of piecing together tutorials that aren't made for the planner community or an established shop that just wants to brush up on their skills, the Silhouette Files is where it's at. Stay to the end of this video and I will be giving you an exclusive coupon code to use for the Silhouette Files that is only valid for one week from today. So my first hack is to bulk create full boxes. So this isn't something that I started doing until a few years into my business, but this absolutely changed the game for me. So what I would do is I would just create a big file on Silhouette Studio and I would put more multiple copies of my full boxes sheet within that file. So you guys know when you're designing full boxes, you really have to be in that creative space versus when you're just recoloring a kit, you don't really have to be in a creative space. You just have to be motivated to actually get it done. So whenever I was feeling super creative and just ready to design full boxes, I would just open up this file and I would get so many kits done all at once. So like I said, I would create multiple copies of my full boxes sheet. And then I would also put the color scheme that I wanted my weekly kit to be at the top of those full boxes. So once it was time to actually release these kits, all I had to do was recolor the rest of the kit and I was good to go. So it saved me so much time and stress. I was getting all of that creative work done when that inspiration was there. And then all I had to do was finish it. My second tip is to group by color. So when I was recoloring my kits, a lot of times I would go up to the color selector, select the color I wanted to recolor, and then change it to whatever color I needed it to be, right? So what I actually started to do is once I selected that color from the color picker, I actually just grouped everything that was selected. So then the next time I wanted to recolor, all I had to do was select one of the items that was the color I wanted to change and everything on that sheet would be selected. So then I just had to change it. So it just saved a few clicks and then finding the color that you wanted to change. And it just made everything a lot more straightforward. Speaking of recoloring, my next tip is to create weekly kit templates. So this is something honestly, and I say this for every single tip, I swear, this is something that honestly changed the game for me. So I created weekly kit templates. So when I was designing a new weekly kit, I didn't move anything. All I would do is I would change the full boxes. I would recolor. I would change the washi and the glitter boxes and stuff like that. But every single weekly kit could use the same cut file. So that means when I was bulk processing orders, all I had to do was open up that one template and I could cut all of my weekly kits using that one template. And the next tip I have for you is actually a order processing tip, but I highly suggest saving as PDF as soon as you are done designing. And here is why. So you guys know, Printing from Silhouette takes forever in a day. That little circle of death on my Mac was, would just be there for like five minutes, I swear, if I was printing one file from Silhouette Studio. But what I started to do is I started to save as PDF as soon as I was done designing, and that is what I would actually print. So it meant that I could select multiple files within my folders and print like 20 files at once without having to open every single Silhouette file. It saved me so much time, it will change your life. So I highly, highly suggest saving as PDF and using them as your print files. And my bonus tip for you is to create artboards with smart objects within Photoshop so that you can create your listing pictures in half the time. Now, if you don't wanna to subscribe to Photoshop, I also use Canva to create my listing pictures and I have a video that I will 
leave linked up here, I believe, if you want to go check that out for how I create my listing pictures. But honestly, if you are creating a lot of products, creating your listing pictures in Photoshop is game changing. So what Smart Objects essentially does is it links certain elements on your Photoshop file to other elements within the same Photoshop file. So if, for example, you are creating your weekly kit listing pictures, if you change the full boxes sheet on one of your artboards, it will change the full boxes sheet on all of your artboards. So then all of your listing pictures are updated and then you can bulk export all of the artboards. So they are separate pictures when you are done. I know that sounds really confusing. Photoshop is a learning curve, but learning this and setting up artboards with smart objects is seriously game changing. So I highly suggest that you take the time to do it. Okay, now for my super exclusive coupon code for the Silhouette files. You can use the code YouTube for $30 off the Silhouette files course. You guys know I do not put my courses on discount like ever. Think of this as my holiday gift to you. If you are just starting out in the planner community, you can get your skills ready for the new year. If you just want to create stickers for yourself, this is also a great inexpensive way to have all of the information right at your fingertips. And what is great about the silhouette files is there's an option for you to request a new tutorial. So if there's something that is missing from the silhouette files, request a new tutorial and I will add it for you. This is a super intensive program that is tailored specifically for planner shops and specifically for you. So I am so excited to see you all within the silhouette files. I hope you are all having an amazing day. Let me know if you try any of these hacks, if you have any other hacks of your own, leave it in a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Just starting out. Oh, Night -night, you mommy. scared the shit out of me. Mommy. Oh, give me a hug.